for another debutante. Let's hear it for Kim DeCruz! Hello, everyone. Thank you. Um, I'm actually really bad. Anyway. Um, for those who you don't know, I'm really good at disguises. I'm actually an undercover bogan from Frankston North. Um, and yes, I do have a job. I'm one of few success stories that made it out, lucky for me. I made it out just before the government introduced heroin. Uh, thank you, that's very kind. Um, I am, uh, the reason I became a success story is because I'm afraid of needles. Um, and I also, I, I didn't fall pregnant at 13. Uh, <laughs> Um, I'm also an undercover. Six, uh, I'm also an undercover celebrity. Um, I've been on a few TV shows. My most recent one was A Current Affair. <laughs> and living in Frankston had its good and its bad. And the bad was that your shit got stolen. <laughs> the good was that. <laughs> The good was that you could actually get it back from the neighbour's garage sale. <laughs> uh, and I come from a long line of inbred alcoholics. I am, my mum was one of 13 inbred siblings and <laughs> those 13 went on to have about 75 kids between them. And that breeding process started about 50 years ago. I am now related to everyone in Frankston. <laughs> I find it really hard to pick up these days because I'm afraid that I might wake up next to my cousin. <laughs> um, and now I find myself doing like a, a cross check of the DNA when I'm on Tinder um, and trying to match it with Incestry.com. <laughs> So, growing up in Frankston, um, I was really close to my family. <laughs> I grew up in a house made of concrete owned by the government. And my nana lived in the backyard and my auntie lived across the road. Um, and my cousins lived next door. And Uncle Wayne, he lived down the street for a little while just before he went to jail. And then Uncle Mark moved in after that. Um, <laughs> and I, I really like our family gatherings because they were always organised around prison hours. <laughs> um, I miss my family. <laughs> Speaking of inbred, I have a couple of teenage nuggets. Um, I, and lucky for them, they also share the same, fam the same father. Um, the Master L, he's 17, and the little deputy, she just clicked over 15. And they have about as much love for each other as Donald Trump and Kim Jong-un. <laughs> and I'm like the Anne Frank of the family. I'm still planning my escape. <laughs> I'm really proud of my little nuggets for making it out of my uterus. Because they show no fucking sign of getting out of the house. <laughs> And, it, and it, it was just like the time that I uh, threw a bucket of water over my little nugget. And let's just say she wasn't very receptive to the, my parenting skills that day. Um, she rose up out of bed like something out of the Blair Witch Project, <laughs> frothing from the mouth. <laughs> and after a few F words exchanged, her final words to me was, Mum, you need to get laid. <laughs> And in true parenting form that day, my response to her was, lucky for me, I have a vibrator. <laughs> and so, <laughs> yes, lucky I did have a vibrator that day. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so my uh, Master L, he went and got his learners last year. And I don't know if anyone's been in the car with a 16 year old, but it's fucking the most uncomfortable experience ever. It's like getting in the car 
with an old Asian female driver. It reminded me of the first time I had a pap smear. It's fucking awesome. awkward. Not awesome. Opposite of awesome. <laughs> Anyway, so <laughs> I'm so glad that uh, my obligation to my little nuggets is almost over. It reminds me of the last trimester of pregnancy. I can't wait for them to get out. <laughs> uh, so if you're still wondering, yes, I am single. <laughs> After 38 years, and two teenagers and a 21 year marriage, I decided to join the majority of society and get a divorce. <laughs> and some people said to me, getting a divorce is like taking it up the arse with a cactus. <laughs> I don't know what they were talking about because my divorce was awesome. <laughs> um, and so I had a fairly challenging year last year. I lost 30 kilos and my tits started sagging and I grew a moustache <laughs> it's a true story <laughs> uh, I, I grew a moustache um, and now I'm doing stand-up comedy uh, the reason I am doing stand-up comedy uh, was because of a psychic I went to see. Uh, Craig was his name. And among the useless things that Craig said to me, one of them was, you're not as funny as you think you are. <laughs> what a fucking waste of money he was. <laughs> Fuck you, Craig. <laughs> Um, and so I've been doing Shikaka this week. It's been really nice doing this this week um, because I've, I have felt single for the first time. Um, and I've come to the realisation that I'm actually fucking hard work. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> uh, I'm little Kimmy and it's been a fucking horrendous conversation. Thank you. <laughs> Keep the crew!